Welcome to this new Mamba FX tutorial. Now we're going to learn how to compose a sequence inside the screen of a mobile phone. We'll use chromas and tracking to get the final result. The first thing that we have to do is check that the Mamba's configuration is the one that we need to work in our project. So I'm going to click on Mamba Config Utility, go to the General tab, choose the standard preset that we need. I'm going to choose the Full HD. Here we can set the auto save time too. And the second tab that we have to check is interface tab and the two monitor option. Here we can choose if you want to work with one or two monitors. And as I'm gonna work with one, I click OK. Let's start Mamba. Well, this is the Mamba's interface. We've got on the top right from the screen the visual editor. We've got on the top left the node grad editor. And at the bottom of the, of the screen, we've got the, the different tab where we can control all the parameters from our nodes or project. Now it's time to create a new project. Click in the new project button. Click OK to the current settings and give it a name. I'm going to call this one from green screen H. Click OK and here we got the, the project. This is the folder tree. And now I'm going to import our material. I'm going to go to Mamba Media, Phone, Material, Full Screen All. And well, this is the base clip that I'm going to use. Uh, we can see a mobile phone with a chroma. And this is the, the movement that we have the, on the mobile. And I'm going to import it. Click Import, select the folder, and change the file name to base phone and link as progressive. The next clip that I'm going to import is uh, B203, that is a football match clip. I'm going to import it uh, doing the same thing. Click on Import. Select the data folder, change the file name to screen. A screen and link as progressive sequence. Okay, double click on screen to see the node information. And now uh, we can see the, the files linked on the data folder. This file is a link file because Mamba works with um, links from the original files, which is so much better. So now we're going to save this environment. Go to Save As, click Data, and give it a, an M name. I'm gonna name it uh, from Green, again, green screen, um, H01, click on CFAS, and we click screen again. Here we go. Okay, we can start now to work with our materials. So uh, let's start uh, working with the. Hmm, I've got a little problem over here. Okay. Okay, baseball. Right. As I was saying. We're gonna start by working with the base phone. I'm gonna add a color grade. 
double click and, and corroborate. Um, I want to change the vector name to chroma because I want to uh, improve a little bit our chroma to be to uh, make uh, more clear the selection. So I'm gonna go fix it, uh, saturate green tone, and give it a little more luma. The next step that I'm gonna do is uh, to add a green screen to extract this chroma. So go to Kier green screen, double click. I'm gonna go to the view alpha, click pick transparent, select the transparent zone. Going to pixel it and select the pixel, the select zone. Uh, now we can see that we have uh, a little mistake just over here and over here. Well, this is the green button from the mobile phone, but uh, we can fix this uh, later. So we're gonna continue working on the chroma. We can go to the RGB view and we see that the chroma is working correctly. But now we have to go to the alpha view again and see that we need uh, some smoothness to fix the DH. So I'm gonna go to FX, select blue, add a root node, double click, select the Gauss type, A or alpha mode, and give it a radius around, I don't know, maybe 15, I think it's enough. So, uh, this is the composition from our base uh, clip for now. So, I'm gonna start working on the green screen, on the, the football clip. So, the first uh, thing that I'm gonna do to, to this clip is add a color grade and Change the vector name to black and white to pick our black and pick our whites. Okay, maybe a little more. And I just want to control a little bit the gamma. Maybe around these values, and I'm gonna add a layer to make a correction to the red, the red tone. So I'm gonna go to correct red and fix it and desaturate a little bit the a red. Maybe that's enough. So the next step is click on color gray, press shift and click on Gauss. Go to the effects tab and add a comb 3D. Okay, we can see that we have the football much uh, behind the, the mobile phone here. So let's set the comb 3D. I'm gonna set as uh, result size the project dimensions and select solid as our background and add a layer to have the screen on the layer or input one and the phone on the layer two. 
Okay. So as I said, uh, we've got the the football match behind the mobile phone, and we need to have it inside the screen. So we need to do a tracker. So let's do it. We go to the green screen and select Alpha View. For me, it's the the best way on this compo because here uh, the track only see white or black. I'm gonna fix it. Okay. So let's go tracking. Let's set uh, the tracking range around. I don't know, maybe 90. Okay, we set the final frame of 90. And we're gonna set tracker zero in this corner, tracker one over here, tracker two. On the bottom right corner, and tracker three on the last corner. We open the the search the search zone. Okay. It would cut. So let's uh, apply the tracking, do the tracking during by clicking on the forward, not uh, backward um, track to go to the back. And we can see that. We lost uh, two tracks, two trackers, so um, we can fix it by put it on the correct place and with previous frame and next frames tools. But uh, we're not going to work with this path. So I'm gonna show you how to load it, to save it, and I'm gonna load the the correct path. So we select uh, the four track points and go to save. Here I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna name it form form green screen H. Gonna save us, and as I said, I'm gonna uh, delete this one, and I'm gonna load uh, a track that I've got from another project. So I'm gonna go to my project, go to output, go to green screen page, and go to open. And here we got the the correct path. I'm gonna save this path as. As phone green screen edge in this project, I'm gonna click save us and here we go. Okay, we've got the, the path, and now we're going to set the, the screen clip inside the, the path. Now we just go to the country, d click on screen, and click. And apply to corner pin, go to apply and click move. So now we've got the the track. We just need to, to fix uh, a little mistake over here. So we go to the, the screen layer, go to corner, open it, and we see that 
we've got the, the animation values on the offset uh, parameters. So I'm gonna control C from offset control B to tracker and delete offset values. And we can see that we've got the 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 image inside the, the screen. Well but we need to rotate this this clip to see it better to see it better so we we're going to add a framing node and we're gonna double click come through the one click on framing and we see the com 3D output, but we've got the framing options. We roll the image till 90, and we have to scale the image till 125 in both edges. So here we got well uh we can delete the path for now and we've got the um, the football match inside the the mobile phone screen. Uh the next step that I'm gonna show you is to do a render. So I'm gonna click on the com 3D that I that is the node that I want to render. I want to render the output from COM3D. I'm gonna go to the output tab, select movie, choose the format that I need, and give it a name. I'm gonna call it uh, phone green screen. Um, H render 01 and do render. Here we can see the render and here we got the the, the render node where we can see the the final result. If we go to the media tab we see that we have uh, two files. One is the mm, render node, and the other one is uh, a file that we can find if we go to the Mama Media, go to Phone Green Screen H Movies, and see that there's a click call it uh, Phone Render Phone Green Screen that move. This is our render. We can see our final result just over here. Well, uh, so till here the this part of the tutorial. On the second part, uh, we are going to learn how to fix the green button of the mobile phone, how to erase or delete uh, this little mistake, and we're gonna learn. Uh, how to create a fake uh, screen to put over the um, the football match to make it uh, seem so much real because <laughs> it's not um, really real and that's uh, enough for now so Till here uh, this tutorial and thanks for watching.